Hi everyone and welcome to week three. Can you believe we're almost halfway through the session? Well, in the vein of creative thinking, I decided to sit outside today and talk a little bit about what we're doing as we make it to the midpoint of our session. How's everything going? I've really enjoyed your discussion so far. Well, this week we're going to look at something called a unique selling proposition. Have you ever heard this term before? A USP is something that makes the product different than the competition. So a lot of times what advertisers do is they think of wacky ways to present their product or company or whatever it is they're trying to sell. So in week three's discussion board, you're going to do just that. You're going to look at two different advertisements or commercials. You're going to look for that unique selling proposition. And the interesting thing is it's pretty easy to find it if it exists. Sometimes it's a wacky ad. It's something that totally makes you pay attention and you remember it, right? So look for one ad campaign that's kind of wacky, has some fresh ideas, and tell us about that unique selling proposition. Then you're going to look for an ad that doesn't have a unique selling proposition. You're going to compare the two ads and talk about that unique selling proposition and which one was more effective. Probably the one with the USP. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the ad that didn't have a unique selling proposition and you're going to create a creative brief for your writing assignment in an attempt to create a unique selling proposition. You'll find in Lesson 3 a copy of a creative brief that you can use for more information. Just follow that template. In ad agencies and in marketing departments, what we do is a creative brief so that we know our strategy, we know who our customer is, and we can start writing an advertising theme or campaign based upon what we know about the customer. A lot of times the other thing that I talk about in a creative brief is it's our reason to believe. So whenever you do a creative brief, think this. What is my customer or my prospect's reason to believe in my product? And that helps you a lot with some creative ideas. Also, in the creative brief, be sure to define your target audience. Who are they? Tell us about their demographics. Their demographics are their age, their income, and their psychographics, their hobbies, their lifestyle. What are some things that we know about them from a psychographic standpoint, too? You'll also find a few more definitions about these two terms on the announcement board as well as in your lesson. Also, be sure to describe your brand in terms of the new positioning that you suggest for the brand that you chose without the USP in your discussion board rather than the existing brand personality. So have some fun, be creative, enjoy week three, and I'll see you around the virtual classroom. Take care.